Hey everybody, thanks for being here. I just want to introduce you guys to one of my really good friends. This is Kristen. She's a brand new comic book reader. And so I just had some questions for her because I thought she would have a totally different perspective on comics and sort of the things that we all see every day and sort of take for granted. Um, so, Kristen, uh, I took you to a comic book shop, what, about... A year ago. I about think. a year ago. Yeah. And you never expected to buy a comic. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've actually taken a lot of people to a comic shop, and most people just kind of look around and then they're just sort of waiting for me until I'm done, not you. You were picking things up, you were asking questions. Yeah. I think I figured I could find at least something interesting. Uh-huh. And also like it was something that like you're super passionate about. And so for me it's really important to like invest myself in things that my friends uh find interesting or that's important in their life. And so I was like, okay, I can at least make the effort to find one thing that might be interesting. Especially since they were pretty inexpensive, too, so that didn't hurt. <laughs> so what was the one thing you ended up coming away with? Um, well, I ended up finding, I don't remember the name of it now, because I've read a few since, but I was just looking for something relatable to what I like um, in my own life, and so I was looking for something that involved like true crime, or murders, mm -hmm. or detectives, or something similar in that field, and so I was able to find something that... Um, that had some murders and some gruesome graphic <laughs> <laughs> Some gruesome graphic things. And yeah. It was great. And you loved it. And, yeah. And you've been collecting comics ever since? Yeah, or randomly. buying and reading them, maybe? <laughs> yeah, randomly just kind of go. There's a place next door to my acupuncture place, which I go to like every other month. And so I'll pop in. It's not very organized, so I just kind of have to go through <laughs> And find some of the boxes, and I usually just kind of pull something that looks interesting on the now, outside. <laughs> and so you will just basically look kind of at a cover, see if it calls your attention? Is yeah, I'm purely a cover person. Mm -hmm. Unless I ask someone that's working there kind of what, if they have anything that is somewhat true crime or horror in that field. And then I've kind of been directed to some... Um, not much luck because most of the ones I go to just kind of have boxes and nothing really labeled. Okay, so you're finding those very particular niche comic book shops, which are more for people looking for like back issues and yes. things like that. Yeah. Okay, so lots yeah, of DC and Marvel, which are not my thing. I don't mind <laughs> watching a movie, but I'm not. Gonna, I don't want to read it. So that brings me that brings me uh, back to. What were your thoughts of on comics before you started reading them? Oh, definitely that they were a little bit more childish. I mean, my stepdad <laughs> loves comics and, like, had a huge collection, um, was really into uh, Conan and some other things, and so uh -huh. um, never really thought much about it other than they were just books with, like, pictures, pictures okay. and, and things that, like, a kid gets into. So, obviously... Some of the ones that I'm reading are not for children, and so, um, yeah, it's definitely opened up a whole different world of reading, especially since I don't really have time to sit down and read a book, mm -hmm. which I generally do enjoy. This is, like, quick. It gives me my fix of, like, being able to follow a story, and then I can kind of quickly get through it, and then there's, like, you know, all the different kind of episodes is kind of, like, how I look at it in my head, mm -hmm. so, like, each book is, like, a new episode, and so... As I have time, I can just do it. I don't yeah. have to sit and read a whole book in one sitting and kind of lose where I am with the storyline. So it's just so much easier to follow. Awesome. So do you have anything right now that you're excited to dive into? Yeah, I just got one two days ago. Uh, it's a newer series called The Last Book You'll Ever Read. Okay. And so I'm kind of disappointed that there's only two out right now, but I got <laughs> both of them. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm excited about that one. That's awesome. So, how, so what do you do with your comics once you're done reading them? I just put them on a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> They're that, just kind of sitting there. That's sort of... Although I have I, thought about some of them just kind of, because I really, uh, because some of the things that, like, actually intrigue me are the artwork itself, I have thought about kind of framing some of them. Because mm -hmm. um, there's some that don't look like 
comics, it looks really just a little bit more like art. So I thought about doing that. I haven't done it yet, though. Well, you would be amongst the ranks of, <laughs> of comic fans. So, yeah, there's a lot of us who... We pick up comics, we see the art, we love the art, and usually that's the first way a lot of us really get into it, but yeah. you're kind of coming more from a story angle. You came in and you were looking for something very particular, much more adult, and and yeah. probably more in line with what you read and watch on TV and stuff yes. like that. Podcasts. So. Right? Like murder, <laughs> pod, true crime podcasts. But I will tell you, like... I have picked up uh, a comic, and I didn't like the art, and so I put it right back down. Okay. And so I think that it, it's not something that, it has to be a specific style, mm -hmm. but there, if is there something that I just don't like about it, I know I won't be able to, to kind of get through it, because I use the pictures as a way to kind of help fill in those gaps where there isn't dialogue, or where mm -hmm. there isn't any... Um, wording and so if if I'm not into the pictures I'm not going to be able to follow the story properly that's totally understandable and everybody has like a very specific art taste lucky for you because you were not into superhero <laughs> comics yeah. or anything like that you're not bound by that very specific um over muscled comic booky Jim yeah. Lee style like that's not what you're looking for in every comic. There are a lot of people who just won't read some of the things that you read because it doesn't have that kind of art in it. But yeah. you know, I've I've actually flipped through some of your comics and I you know, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta pick some of these up because <laughs> they, they look great. I think the art in a bunch of them looks fantastic and you seem to va you seem to go back and forth between a very cartoony style, like if it's in a clean, crisp, cartoony style. Yeah. And then also, like, sort of, like, a darkly realistic style. Yeah. I, I like, yeah. I, I think kind of the in-between is where I get lost. It has to be kind of, like, one extreme or the other. Yeah. The, um, kind of, like, what you were referring to, like, the over muscly like, super vibrant colors, like, that's not really mm -hmm. my thing. It kind of deters me away, if anything. Okay. Well, I mean, this is... This is all great stuff. Thank you so much for chatting with me about yeah. this. And um, can't wait to uh, show some, you know, <laughs> show you some more comics and get you reading some other stuff. So. Me too. All right. Thanks again, Kristen. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.